What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and for months now I have been trying to tell people that there is something going on with Mandalorian Season 3. That there are massive problems behind the scenes but Lucasfilm doesn't want to let you know about them. And now with the announcement we got today about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and the official start of production as well as the cast list, it just goes to confirm what I have been saying this entire time. Take a look at this announcement from Disney+. Plus. Uh, production begins soon on Obi-Wan Kenobi, a special event series coming to Disney+. Plus. And they do confirm a bunch of cast members, including, of course, Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen. I have gone over this many times about my feelings about Hayden returning to Star Wars, although it's a feel-good story for him, and I'm glad that he's getting to reprise his role. I'm very worried about what they are going to do in this era, 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, and what they're going to do to continuity, because they have gone, they have shown that they do not care about continuity. They will do whatever they think is cool or neat, regardless of whatever canon actually says happened. That's what I feel like is going to happen in this show. But they also announce a bunch of other people attached to it. Moses Ingram, uh, Joel Edgerton, and Bonnie Peace. Who, of course, that is, uh, that's Owen and uh, Baru. So they're going to be reprising their roles as Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Kamal Najani, I don't remember if that's actually how you pronounce his name. He's going to be in Marvel's Eternals if that ever comes out. We've seen Indira Varman a lot of things. Rupert Friend, Rupert Friend, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Sung Kang, Simone Kessel, and Benny Safdie. So not really a couple other names that we didn't know were attached to that, but mostly not too many surprises here. The big thing, the big thing when it comes to this announcement, Obi-Wan Kenobi cast reveals start shooting in April. Is it is confirmed that it is shooting in April, as I have been saying this entire time. Because if you remember, when this news came out, the Mandalorian Season 3 reportedly starts filming in April. This is back in January when people started spreading this bullshit around. I said that that is not the case. There is no way that this starts shooting in April because... I knew about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series was supposed to start filming in April in LA. And those two things cannot be filming at the same time. It's just not possible. It's why this had to wait until after the Boba Fett series was done before they could start filming because there is not enough studio in that volume that they're going to use. There's not enough space for them to be able to film at the same time. This came from this dog shit website. So many scoopers thought that they got something cool when they saw this website, productionlist.com, The Mandalorian Season 3, shoot date April 5th. It starts shooting in LA. Of course, these same idiots didn't realize that the Kenobi series, it still says to this day that they were going to start shooting March 1st in Boston, England, and London, England. Turns out you're wrong. Obi-Wan Kenobi, well, sorry, Ewan McGregor himself said that they would be shooting in spring in LA, not in England and not on March 1st. It's starting in April. So that really makes me wonder when's Mandalorian season three going to start? Because like I said, they told us, right? All these people said, don't worry. There's no problems. Mandalorian season three, it's right on track. It'll start filming right after Boba Fett. No, it won't. It's not going to film for quite a while. And in fact, I think there's way more problems than anyone realizes behind the scenes. All the stuff with Pedro Pascal and the fact that he now has a new deal for The Last of Us Part Two with Joel, which takes precedence over his Mandalorian role. All of these things combined. Gina Carano, when she was fired, remember, remember the wording that they used. They said she's not under contract with us. What if I told you that... No one is under contract for Mandalorian Season 3, with the exception of Katie Sackhoff. Would that, would that make you wonder about what's going to happen with this show? Would that make you concerned at all about what may happen with this show? Because it probably should. I have been trying to say it for months, and finally, this Obi-Wan Kenobi series is that like complete confirmation that they are the ones that are going to be filming in April, not Mando Season 3. So you're telling me that this show that was the flagship show on Disney Plus, Lucasfilm's great success, you're telling me that you're just going to take what's likely a two-year break in that because, oh, we just wanted to. No problems, no production issues, nothing going on behind the scenes. Just, yeah, we thought we'd just take an extra year break. Bullshit. 
There are problems with Pedro Pascal behind the scenes. We know that now. We don't know if he's actually going to come back or not. If he does, it may be in a limited role. But Lucasfilm doesn't want you to think about this. They don't want you to ask any questions. They just want you to consume their product and laugh and be like, oh, this feels like real Star Wars. When in fact, of course, it doesn't. Uh, but I'm interested to hear all of your thoughts on these castings for Mandalorian or for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Again, I don't really care about it, to be honest with you. This isn't a show that I'm very interested in. I have my Kenobi series. I have this book right here, Kenobi, uh, which I think this is probably going to steal quite a bit from, to be honest with you, because that's what Lucasfilm does. They take what they threw away with Star Wars Legends and they pick at it like fucking vultures and try to recreate something and present it as their own. That's what they've been doing for fucking years now. It's fully what I expect them to do with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I'm glad for Hayden Christensen to be getting another chance. Um, but at the same time, I don't think that he should be in this unless you're talking about flashbacks. In no way, shape, or form, like Kathleen Kennedy stated, should there be a rematch. We have now heard that from Ewan McGregor, we've heard it from Deborah Chow, and we've heard it from Kathleen Kennedy, that there's going to be a rematch of epic proportions between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. If that happens, and you are distracted by, ooh, flashy lightsabers, ooh, this is cool, and you're not keeping in mind the fucking continuity problems that it creates then I don't have anything else to say to you, I guess. that That's on you, I suppose. But what do you guys think about this series as a whole? Are you looking forward to it? What do you think about the implications of it beginning filming in April? What do you think about those implications and what it means for Mandalorian Season 3? That just like I've been saying all along, that is not going to start filming in April. In fact, it's probably going to be much, much later because... They don't have any fucking idea what they're going to do yet. Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.